Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded, but I have something special for you guys today. We are actually doing uh, an unboxing video. I recently got myself uh, something that I've been wanting for some time now, and I finally had the opportunity to actually get one. Um, so I want to unbox it and share the experience with you guys here. So before we get started, let me tell you a little bit of a backstory. Um, I originally wanted a different model Rolex. It's something that I've been wanting for some time now. I wanted the Submariner. However, uh, if you're well into the watch world right now, you know that getting a new Submariner is actually pretty tough. Getting a new GMT is pretty tough. So I started looking and putting my name down on an allocation list a few months back. I started going to different jewelers and seeing if they had any in stock. Uh, obviously, they were all authorized dealers of Rolex. And what happened was I almost bought a Rolex 2019. Uh, this person had bought it in February of 2019, so it's December 2019 right now. Really this close to, to buying Master 2, the GMT Master 2, it's all black. Uh, and apparently this is the last year that they're doing the Oyster bracelet. So I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a fairly rare watch moving forward since they're all gonna be Jubilee bracelets moving forward. But it being my first one, I really wanted it to be brand new and I wanted originally the Rolex Submariner. Um, so what happened was and I, I decided to, to go have lunch and think about the purchase before I just jumped on it, right? They wanted, I believe this $12,500, fairly new GMT Master 2, the guy wore it maybe a couple months. Uh, it looked very untouched, I have a photo of it on the screen. And so, you know, I decided to go to my original jeweler that I wanted to, to work with and I wanted to buy my Rolex from this guy. And so I went in there and I talked to him a little bit and fair enough, you know, he said the GMT Master 2 that I saw was a really good deal, but uh, he had something an Explorer, brand new, that just came in. Uh, this is the first one I've had in four months. If you want to take a look at it, you can. And so, I wasn't expecting it. I was not expecting to get this watch. To be honest, I knew about it a little bit. I never saw one in person. Um, I've seen it on the internet. But in person, it looks completely different. It just looks so much better in person. And so, I decided to give it a shot. And he showed it to me. And you know what, to be honest, as your first, as my first one, uh, it was it was more subtle, it's more classy. Uh, I can kind of wear it with everything, with suits, I can wear it with the sport coat that I'm like wearing right now. Um, and I just kind of fell in love with it there. And so I ended up getting this one. However, I'm still on my allocation for my new Submariner. Whenever that happens, uh, I'll go get it. But at least my fix for getting a Rolex uh, is, is settled for now. I can I can wear this. So without uh, further ado Let's go ahead and unbox this and see what it looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this opened up here. So basically comes out of this sleeve And there's this embossed Logo here on this box. This comes up Now I bought this watch last week and I have worn it But I did put it back in the box so you guys can see exactly how it looks. So here's the box. And this flap comes down here. So I have um, everything I just have kind of tucked away. So you do get one of these. It has a hard time because the ring light I have my extra links here because I had my watch resized for me. Your user manual. Kind of breaks down some of the things about the watch, how to wind it. My warranty service booklets. So it's a tw uh, 21, model. A Rolex Explorer 1. So you can see it here. And you know what, like I said, uh, once I actually saw this in person and I put it on, uh, I wasn't expecting to buy this model, but you know, it definitely grew on me. And you could wear this kind of every day. You could wear it with a suit, 
you could wear it with a kind of a track uh, sweatshirt that I have on right now and it still looks great so here's kind of what it looks like with it on again I'm wearing a very casual outfit today and it still just looks great for daily wear whatever you want to do with it um, but yeah this really does hold me off until my Submariner comes in and then when the Submariner comes in I'll uh, probably keep both to be honest because this is really growing on me and I've been enjoying using this watch and wearing it um, but uh, you'll probably see this more in videos moving forward I'll, I'll be wearing it often uh, and you'll be able to point it out so yeah overall uh, it, it was an awesome experience to be able to finally get my hands on one of these I know earlier I said that uh, you can't go wrong with buying a new one because you know you're gonna be paying the best price the retail price for it uh, but again if you really just fall in love with the watch you're buying it because you like the, the brand you, you like the way it, it, it feels uh, when you wear it things like that so you know if you really just fall in love with the watch then uh, I recommend getting it because these are some things that you're gonna keep for a very very long time probably pass it down in your family things like that so um, at the end of the day if you really walk into a store and you see one that you just love um, you know <laughs> if it draws you uh, then go ahead and get it uh, like I said I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I do but I really uh, have started to to fall in love with this watch and now I'm having a hard time thinking about swapping it out uh, when I get the, the, the Submariner, I think I'm just going to probably keep both. And I'll make a video when I finally get the Submariner. I don't know how long it's going to be. Three, six months, uh, a year, who knows how long. But when I get it, I'll be sure to share it with you guys. I'll post some photos uh, of this watch on just so you can kind of get a, a feel for it. Um, of what it looks like on day-to-day -day, day -day wear because I think this, this ring light actually messes with my camera focus. And uh, I'm noticing that I can't really get a good shot especially if there's like a smudge on this watch uh, it tends to focus on the smudge and everything kind of blurs out but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments um, I want to hear you guys' opinion what's your guys' favorite watch what is the next watch you're gonna buy what is the watch that you want to buy that's on your wish list things like that so if you could please like the video comment down below subscribe where well I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers and then I'll set a next milestone after that but thousands the first milestone I want to hit on this channel so if you guys could help me with that please hit the subscribe button below um, if you're interested in what I do uh, my full-time business uh, I run a real estate business and then my side business is an Amazon FBA business if you're interested in either of those I'm gonna put my email down below and a link to my Amazon business um, it'll be a little video page you can go ahead and take a look if you're interested in how I make extra income to afford things like this kind of mess around and, and have a little bit of play money take a look at the description box below there will be a little link to my Amazon stuff and then there's an email if you are uh, if you have any questions or are interested in uh, real estate or if you have referrals um, I work here in the San Francisco Bay Area so if you're another realtor in another state or if you're looking for property in this area, feel free to shoot me an email below and I'll get back to you on that. Uh, as always, have a good day. I'll see you guys next time.